कुरुक्षत्रंगया गंगा प्रभास पुष्कानी चीर्थान्यता पुन्ननी तर्पण काले भवस्ते Water, a priceless gift of nature, a synonym for life, a lot of our life, its sorrows and joys, its limitations and possibilities are woven around it. A lot of our rituals remain incomplete without it, but the whole of our life is just unthinkable. without it water is the essence of life and yet what have we done to this precious resource of nature like all other natural resources water has been ravaged by man unthoughtfully unthoughtfully we have played with our own lives whether we needed it or not we took it whether we need it all or not we used it whether we used it or not we neglected it the result our survival is under question now What else can we feel this better than in our own life life as it is lived by some of us in a small village called Burhanpura Burhanpura is located in the Sikha district of the Neem Kathana region in the western state of Rajasthan Today, happiness and well-being spread throughout the region. Is this the same Burhanpura? Let's go back and find out how it was only a few years ago. Parched heavens, cracked earth, soaring thirst, and wandering women these are sights that visited the village after each dry spell death and destruction stalked every corner life appeared to come to a grinding halt driven by despair people started deserting their villages and migrating to nearby regions but turning one's back to misfortunes could not be a long term solution as the villagers pondered over this calamity one day dressed in plain clothes a miracle arrived in their village it was a team of ngo officials desperate villagers gathered with expectation the officials offered a solution watershed management and explained what it was about it is about redefining everybody's life by managing rainwater some believed some didn't extensive sessions convinced them to join hands to aap log bata sakte ho ki pani jo apne yahan pe barasta hai bas aaj ka pani hai usko apan kaise rok sakte hain First, all the basic parameters of the village were surveyed, including the number of water storage structures and the land gradient. Soon, the planning was complete. It was time to act. The spirit of teamwork took over, and unused wells, ponds, and tanks were not only cleaned and repaired, but also deepened. Every section of the village population participated enthusiastically in the project. Approximately 50 hectares of land was leveled 
and earthen bunds constructed around it to collect rainwater. Anicuts were strategically erected to prevent rainwater from draining away and that encouraged the growth of plants that could retain the top soil cover. And then the wait for the rains began. With the first rain's anticipation and joys welled up in the hearts of the people of Burhanpura, they had realized that every drop was as precious as gold. Even after the rains, there was water everywhere. Water level had risen by 10 to 15 feet in the wells. Ponds now had water round the air. The soil was always moist, which led to an increase in its production capacity. Fields that were incapable of yielding even one crop a year were now yielding three crops annually. And the change could now be felt in the orchards. Fruits were now in plenty and provided a nourishing joy to the children of Burhanpura. Watershed management had redefined the life of these people. Women once exhausted with their daily workload could now smile with relief. Relieved from the burden of fetching water, women could now tailor dresses and earn one to two thousand rupees a month. Instead of conventional smoke belching stoves, women now use biogas or advanced smoke free stoves. A whiff of fresh air was now in their lives. They could even find time to gossip and organize themselves in a Mahila Mantel. The wages of their labor could now grow in a small saving fund that could be used for mutual aid in distress. Parents now had enough time for their children. And the children, apart from studying, were also weaving dreams of a bright future. Would anybody want to leave this village now? The answer was Never again That is the greatness of water Water